I'll say it, they're kind of boring. Now, don't go canceling me yet. Hear me out. I promise it will all make sense in the end. Pre-cuts and fabric collection bundles abound and are practically the default way that quilting fabric is sold in recent years. I mean, I get it. They're convenient and quick and a sure thing with color matching. But can they be more? Hi, I'm Amy and I make things. In today's video, I'm making pre-cuts and bundles work for me and my style and showing you how to do it too. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, okay, maybe pre-cuts and collections aren't exactly boring per se. The designers work very hard to create beautiful color stories and designs and they truly succeed in bringing their vision to life. And it's just, well, that's exactly it. It's their vision. And then you see it repeated in quilt after quilt after quilt. I think in use, in your quilt, pre-cuts and bundles, they can be better. A little different, a little more dynamic, a lot more reflective of your personality, and it's easy. I've got three easy ideas to help you make your quilts stand out. First up is the simplest idea, using a pre-cut with the addition of background fabric. Basic, right? What if you do more? What if you use an unexpected background or accent fabric? Here's where I started. With this pattern from a library book and this wild two and a half inch strip pack. These fabrics are wild and super busy, chaotic, almost frenzied on their own. So when I considered the frames, I thought of using solids. Black and white were obvious options, or gray and white, and those looked okay. Not really my style. But then I started playing with less conventional ideas, ranging from chartreuse and turquoise to hot pink and orange. Everything I considered, including the black and white actually, made the quilt more eye-searing, which I'm not against, but I wasn't in that mood. So I tried something different, and I landed here with these saturated but softer colors of amethyst and a sort of cotton candy pink. And this is how the quilt top turned out. I love how the softer colors unify and add to the quilt accenting the pinks and purples, but without turning up the volume of an already aggressively cheerful quilt. Instead of defaulting to a neutral or a white on white background or accent for your pre-cut, try something a little off the beaten path, a little unexpected, and see what you come up with. The next two quilt tops demonstrate adding and subtracting from pre-cuts. I had a fat quarter bundle of an older Anne of Green Gables line, the one that matches this jelly roll. I have no idea why I have two of the same line, but okay, I do. It's Anne of Green Gables and I get suckered by the romance. Plus, it's purple, so, you know, a double whammy. Anywho, I'm rather notorious for busting up fat quarter bundles and sorting them into my stash by color, but this one Anna, my daughter, asked me to keep intact as they love the color combo. Now this collection, while beautiful, is not very dynamic. It's essentially just purple and green. Now don't misunderstand. I love purple and green. I chose this pattern from Fat Quarter Shop. It's the one I made for my sister-in-law. And once we took out the light fabrics for the nine patches, it really needed something. So we looked at the prints and chose blue. It's in there, but it's not featured, so we added it. We paid attention not only to the color match, but also the style and the mood of the Anne of Green Gables fabrics, and now the quilt is much more dynamic and reflective of both my and Anna's styles, though I had to make them trust me on that brighter blue gingham. After 
after cutting the fat quarter shop quilts, there was a ton of leftover fabric. So I went ahead and cut it into strip for a rail fence style quilt. Of course, having used all the light fabrics from the bundle in the last quilt, I needed new light fabrics to frame out the strip sets and make the blocks. I still paid attention to style and mood of the original bundle. And with the addition of the blues from the last round and all the new light fabrics, which I cut with my AccuQuilt strip cutter. I think it's even more interesting. I added borders to make it larger, which expanded the fabric selection even more. And of course, now Anna wants both quilts, but we're still negotiating that point. Keep going all the way across. Sometimes in a collection, the color balance is off or there are fabrics that you just do not like. Feel free to add and subtract pieces from your bundle and it will add dimension, depth of value, sparkle, and your sense of color or style. And that blue gingham really worked. Next, I have a quilt that I'm still working on. It will feature in a future video, but it revisits one of my favorite scrap methods explained in this video. It's the use more, use more method. This pattern called Tile Style is from Missouri Star and the original uses a jelly roll and white background. Super quick, super cute, super simple, a little too simple for my taste. So I used the pattern and the idea as a jumping off point. I started with a rainbow jelly roll. I always seem to have a rainbow jelly roll even though I swear up and down I've only ever purchased two and I know I use them so I don't know. It's weird. Smash that like button if you have perpetual multiplying stash as well. I put the block into Electric Quilt 8 to play with the colors. If you don't use EQ8, graph paper and colored pencils super easy. I decided on a palette and then I started digging into my scraps. I wanted red and black and white fabrics for the centers so I pulled more reds and more black and white scraps and the bright strips from the jelly roll. These are the first few blocks. I'll show the results when it's all finished but you get the idea. This methods of pre-cuts and a more is better scrappy dynamic background works lots of places. It would look great with low volume prints or various dots, but the idea here is that background doesn't have to be background. It can be a feature. It can be a mashup of colors. It doesn't have to fade to the background. Now, my pre-cut quilt looks singularly like my personality and style. And that's really the whole point of all, the, all of these methods and my love-hate relationship with pre-cuts and bundles. My very favorite thing to see in quilts and encourage of you is seeing the hand of the maker. I want my quilts to show my personality and style and I love teaching you how to do that too. If you want more information about other ways I play with color or to see my sister's version of the Fat Quarter Shop pattern, check out the videos and playlist here on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. And never forget that you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. I'm Amy, and I'll see you next time.